Hey, welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial. Today we want to create a futuristic abstract scene. We will import some free assets with the new tool from Kitpash 3D Cargo. And after that, we will add some lights and some fog. Let's have some fun. Okay, here we are in a fresh planner scene and today we want to use this tool. We will import here now some free assets from Kitbash 3D. You can get this one on the Kitbash 3D website. It's not a sponsored video here. I just want to show you how you can get here these free assets to build a scene. Yeah, let's bring in here our first model. So we have to go to models and you have to click here on access and select free and then uh, you will see all the free assets which you can import and today we want to use here this oxygen station let's press download yeah after downloading we have to press import to bring this one into our scene this one is imported here already so when we are going here now to material preview we can see that everything should be fine so now we can see everything is uh, textured here. Let's hop back and we want to use another asset, which is here, this here, this one, the street light. Uh, so let's download this one as well. After download, let's press import again. Okay, let's switch over to materials because we want to use some materials for today. And let's select here free again. We want to use here the patchy grass let's download this one and we want to use here these soil terrain so let's do this again now we have here the soil group uh, thing which has our material on it and we need to import here this one which we already downloaded now we have the stuff in our scene which is the oxygen center the street lights and the two materials which is grass lawn and soil ground let's select here the cube which is already in the scene and let's change the dimensions to 14 by 11 by 6.2 let's put this a little bit down by pressing g and z to something like this and let's press one and go into edit mode and now we want to let's make a right click to subdivide and subdivide now i want to change the view to toggle mode you can select this button here or press alt and z so we will select all the points and not only the visible ones let's select these points here now press s to scale this a little bit down let's select these points do the same this one here and the last one so we're having a kind of island shape here now. Let's leave the edit mode now and make a right click and press shade auto smooth. Yeah, we want to add here some displacement. And to do this, we have to change the render. When we go here into rendering now to uh, from EV to cycles. So let's do this here and GPU compute, of course. Okay, and now when we are going here into some shading, let's change this one here now to shade editor. And we want to kick off here this material and we want to use here this soil ground. So let's search here for soil and select this one and change the color of the background a little bit, something whitish. So we can see a little bit more of what is going on. Okay, now we are seeing here our uh, island stuff and now we want to enable here the displacement but we need a little bit more subdivision so let's add here a subdivision surface and increase this here to three and both level viewport and rendering and now we can go here into the material properties and into settings and we want to change this one from displacement bump only to displacement and bump nothing happens and that is because we have to increase here the displacement of our texture or material whatsoever. You have to find here this displacement node and change the scale to 0.5. Now we can see something is going on here, which is cool. Um, but one thing is a little bit 
strange we have here some displacement in our oxygen center so let's bring this a little bit down by pressing g and z and let's go here into the edit mode and we want to select now the upper faces so let's press three or select this button here and let's select the upper uh, upper ones maybe let's leave the x-ray mode so we can select only the visible ones so we want to select these plane here now we can scroll up here in the materials and press plus we want to search now for the grass lawn so let's go here and so type in grass lawn now let's press assign now let's leave the edit mode by pressing tab and we can see that there is some grass which is cool but a little bit too chunky here <laughs> we have to put all the orangey stuff here in uh, yeah, one direction so <laughs> uh, let's see now we want to pipe this to a texture setup which is from the node regular plugin if you don't have this here on the side go to edit preferences and search for wrangler enable this one now we can select this one and add a texture setup okay let's select these here and let's make a cut here shift and the right mouse button and now we can pipe the whole stuff here up oh god okay the last one Okay, that's good. And now we can change here the scale in the X and the Y to four by four. Okay, now let's change here to solid mode and we can bring up this one here by pressing G and Z here to our station. Let's select here the street lamp and we want to offset this a little bit. So let's go to minus two by minus 10. Let's rotate this in the Z value to 90 and we can select here our island. Maybe let's rename this duplicate shift and D. We want to offset this one as well to minus two by minus 10 and minus 1.3. That's a little bit too big. <laughs> so let's scale this one down by pressing a Z. So this one will fit here under our light. Maybe let's scale this in the X, press S and X, scale this a little bit. And now in the Y, S and Y. So our stuff will fit here on this island. Okay, now when we are going back into render mode, this is looking cool for me. Now let's start with some lightning. I want to change here now the background uh, back to black. As we can see now, the whole scene is lit by yeah, our light here, which we can turn off by the emission textures of the oxygen center. So maybe let's bring this a little bit up and select the billboard here and let's go into the material properties and let's search here for the banner, BD banner C. And we want to go here now to the emission strength and crank this up to 20. Now that looks a little bit better here. And I want to bring in here our our light here from, from the beginning and bring this here to our street lamp. Press seven on the numpad. Now we can press G, point this here right on the left side of our street light. Now let's change this here to an area light. We can change here the rectangle in the size. So let's go here with a 0.37 by 0.58. Change the rotation here all the way to zero. And I want to press G and Z here now to bring this here in this light. So <laughs> this one will really shine here down and maybe let's change the power to 500. We will only use one light here on the left side here for the street light and but we can see here now that we are having here another light emission texture which is on and to change this uh, let's go here into the uh, material preview and now we can go and select this uh, street lamp and press tap. As you can see here some stuff is selected and to get rid of the selection, we have to select nothing. So something like this. And now we have to search here for the light white and press select. Now we can see that uh, these lights are selected now. Let's go into the X-ray mode here now. 
And we want to deselect uh, the left side now by pressing control and drag and drop here this mouse. Only the right side is now selected and now we can select X and delete the vertices. And let's jump back into rendering and leave the edit mode by pressing tab. Okay, let's duplicate this light here. And we want to put this over here to the orangey light. Let's go to the seven on the numpad, enable overlays, and want to put this here over to this light. And let's bring this up by pressing G and Z. And I want to rotate this a little bit. Maybe let's rotate this one here to something like this. And now we can change here the size again to 0.14 by 1.33. And let's put this a little bit over here that will fit here. Now let's press G and Z to bring this a little bit more up. That will fit here. Yeah, and we want to change this one here now to an orangey light. Maybe something like this. That's it for our lights here for the scene. Now we can bring in here some fog. So let's create a new cube and change the dimensions to 50. As we can see, we can see nothing. Maybe let's zoom a little bit in. We want to add here a new material, which is material fog. Select this one, press X to delete. And we want to search for a new one, which is volumetric scatter. Bring this into the volumetrics. Now we can see nothing because it's a little bit too thick. So let's turn this down here a little bit to grayish. I want to change the density to 0.25. Let's go with a little less anisotropy by changing this to minus 0.4. Okay, that is looking good, but I want to bring in a little bit more color. And to do this, we can go into the color and change this here more to the orangey yellow one. Yeah, you can see that the other stuff changes here a little bit more to bluish. But if you want to have a little bit more orangey stuff, you have to go here into the blue, uh, right the opposite one. So, but that's up to you as always. Okay, I want to go here with the orangey one. Now let's hit into the camera, press zero on the numpad, or you can go here to view, viewpoint and camera. Okay, let's change the camera now. Let's go with minus 22.5 by minus 14.5 by 1.4. And let's go with 90 by zero by minus 66.5. And we want to use a focal length of 25 millimeter here. And that is our scene here. Maybe let's go here into the color management as always. And you can change here the look as you like. I like to go here with the medium or high contrast, maybe to something like this. And if you want to render this one out, I used here the max samples of 512 and I changed the performance and the tile size to 128. But as always, if you want to have no grain, you can use the denoise, open image denoise or optics. That's up to you, which you more like. I think they are a little bit different, but you have to try which one is better for you. That was this tutorial. And if you like my stuff, check out and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, check out my Gumroad or Blender Market page. See you there and bye.